Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be writing a shell script to find the prime numbers between m and n numbers. Okay, to find prime numbers between the range of two numbers. So to start, we are going to use the Vim editor to open our file. So in this case, I want to name the file prime.sh now that the file is open we have to go to the insert mode by pressing i in the keyboard so you will see here insert so now we are in the insert mode and if you don't know how to use the vim editor i have a video on how to use the vim editor you can check the descript the link in the description below you can to learn how to use the vim editor then you can come back and watch this tutorial but if you already go to the Vim editor, then let's continue. So let me just write a comment up here. We want to write a program to print prime numbers between M and N. So we are writing a program to print prime numbers between M and N. So to start first, we need input from the user. So use the echo to get the value M. So we ask the user to enter the value of m and then we want to store it in the variable m next we want the user to enter the value of n so enter the value of n and then we want to read the value n and store it in the variable n so after we get it after we have gotten the two numbers, the two values which we need, then we have to now do the logic to print the output. So first we want to echo prime numbers in the range M and N are. Now let's write the logic to generate those prime numbers so in this case we are going to use a while loop so while m is less than n so why m is less than or equal to n then we want to do i equal to 2 so this i will help us for the iteration and we want to use a flag equals to one this flag is to check if the prime number is true or not so by default we are setting it to one which is true so while m is less than n then we want to check we want to put another while loop inside so why why i is less than m so for each number m we want to check from 2 to m so why i is less than m that's for all the number m we want to we want to divide the numbers so we say if expression if, if expression m modulus i if expression m modulus i is equal to is equals to zero then our flag should be set to zero and we should break out of the loop this is because if m modulus i is equal to zero it means m it means i is a divisor of m so in this case m is not a prime number so we should break out of the loop meanwhile if it isn't that if it's not zero which means the number cannot divide i then else we just want to increment i so i equals to expression i plus one we close the if statement fi phi and now we are done with the while loop so done so once we are done with the while loop, we want to check if the flag 
is equal to if the flag is equal to one which means the number is a prime number then we want to echo m which we want to print the number and we end the if loop and then here we have now to increment m so m equal to expression m plus one and then we now close the main loop done so what is happening here is while m is less than or equals to n then we want to check for each number m we start from i which is 2 to till the number m and we check if m modulus i equals to 0 which means there is no remainder it means i can be divided by m so in this case it means m can divide i so in this case the flag is equal to zero because m is not a prime number but, but if there is a remainder then we are going to ignore this statement here and we are going to go straight to the else block which means we are just going to increment i without performing any operation so after this while loop is done we are now going to check if the flag is equal to one then it means the number is a prime number so we are going to print out m and then once we do that we now have to increment m so m is going to go to the next number so let's say for example we had um the range from 10 to 25 so what will happen is m will begin as 10 then while i is less than m so i will begin at 2 so it will say okay 10 modulus 2 which will give 0 so the flag will be set to 0 because 10 modulus 2 is 0 so 10 is not a prime number and we are going to break out of that loop and immediately once we break out of that loop it's going to check now out here if the flag is equals to 1 which in this case is no the flag is equals to 0 so it's not going to print the number it's just going to increment m plus 1 so now m is going to become 11 so it is going to come back here so m is now 11 so flag will be reset back to 1 so while i is less than m so why um, so we are going to say okay begin from 2 so 11 divided by 2 there is a there is no there is a remainder so it is just going to increment i so i will become 3 11 divided by 3 there will be a remainder so it is just going to increment i again i is now going to become um sorry i was 12 so i divided by 12 there is going to be a remainder so in this case i is 2 so 11 divided by 2 will give a remainder so we just increment i and then 11 divided by 3 will still give a remainder so we increment i so i now becomes 4 so 11 divided by 4 will still give a remainder so we, we just increment i so this loop will continue till we reach the, the we reach m so once we reach m and then it is going to go out of this loop and then check if the flag is equal to 1 which in this case yes will be equals to 1 because 11 modulus no number below gave us 0 so the flag state as 1 so we are going to print out 11 and then we are going to increment m so in this case m will now become 12 so the same thing will happen till it now becomes our last number which is 25 so let's run the program and see so to exit the vim we first of all press escape to go off the insert mode and then once we are off the insert mode we we are now in the command mode so we use wq that's save and exit we are now in our bash cell so let me just clear this okay so to run the program we use bash and the name of the file prime.sh and I'll press enter so it says enter the value of m so in this case I'm going to enter 10 and next it says enter the value of n 
I'm going to enter 25 and I will press enter. So you see prime numbers in the range 10 and 25 are 11, 13, 17, 19 and 23. So those are the prime numbers from 10 to 25. So this is the output we get. So let me go back to the program vimprime.sh. So you see, we had 10 and 25 and we got the output from it. Okay, so this is the code. Okay, you can watch again if you don't understand. And if you have any doubt, you can leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply to your comment. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video. Thank you.